Supercomputers play a vital role in scientific research and discovery, helping us to design new materials, simulate natural disasters, and predict disease outcomes. To meet the increasing demands of science, supercomputers are growing both in scale and complexity. Today's most advanced systems include multiple types of processors, memory hierarchies, and memory domains. To make efficient and effective use of these machines, scientists face significant challenges in readying their applications to run on any given system. A single application can consist of millions of lines of code and hundreds of thousands of processes. For optimal performance, each part of the application needs to be mapped to specific hardware resources, then mapped again if it runs on a different supercomputer. This costly, time-consuming task is daunting without intervention. The solution is MPI Bind. Developed at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, MPI Bind takes care of mapping, optimizing an application's performance regardless of the machine it's running on. MPI Bind makes using modern high-performance computing systems easy so HPC application scientists can focus on their science. If a supercomputer is like a mountain range, all of its peaks, crevices, and rock formations represent hardware components like memory domains, cores, CPUs, and GPUs. MPI Bind automatically maps out the supercomputer's topology, showing each process in the application where to go for the best performance. Even for the most complex multi-physics applications and the most advanced computing architectures. The performance of scientific applications will suffer if they don't use compute resources in a smart way. First, MPI Bind uses a memory tree, which is built based on the memory hierarchy, while compute resources are attached to their associated memory or cache. Second, MPI Bind distributes application processes over the memory hierarchy using the memory tree in a top-down manner. This approach maximizes the amount of memory and cache available to each process. Because MPI Bind knows the hardware topology, it takes advantage of the fastest compute resources with the highest proximity to the memory system. Scientists do not need to learn any of these hardware details or rewrite their code. They simply add this phrase to their launch command to enable MPI Bind. In cases where MPI Bind is already enabled by default on the supercomputer's resource manager, the user doesn't need to invoke MPI Bind at all. It will work automatically. HPC technology is advancing rapidly, and scientists need to use new supercomputers with unfamiliar hardware configurations. Think of the industry shift from CPU-based supercomputers to heterogeneous supercomputers with both CPUs and GPUs. Mapping applications to a new architecture efficiently is difficult and can take days, weeks, or even months. MPI Bind takes that burden off the users by mapping applications automatically and without user intervention to any supercomputer system so that applications can run on day one. And because the mapping is based on the machine topology, it is optimized for that system. This increases the productivity of application scientists over a wide range of supercomputers. MPI Bind has a large customer base in the supercomputing community, both in industry and at national laboratories. Scientific application teams use MPI Bind for a range of challenging problems on many different computing architectures, including the most advanced exascale systems. HPE and Lawrence Livermore, we have been working together on the deployment of the largest known system in the world right now, El Capitan. This is a very large system with over 40,000 processing components where scalability is really one of our main focuses for this system. Any 
delay in any one of the tens of thousands of processes that are participating in this application can cause the entire application to slow down. The main issue we run into is that of operating system noise. If any OS noise gets in the way of any one of the potentially 40,000 different parallel activities going on at the same time, then the entire synchronization is delayed. And so by doing the OS noise mitigation work, we isolate those background activities to cores and hardware threads separate from those that we'll use for the application. And this is where MPI bind comes into play. MPI bind provides an easy way for the users to place their jobs on the nodes of the system, automatically avoiding where these overhead activities have been placed. 